Hi there, YouTubers. Hey, you know, I just noticed something. Like, this is uh, March, uh, early March, and uh, I'm in Canada near London. And out here, you see there's still snow on the ground. Well, it wasn't two days ago, there was just grass. And then we had a big snowfall. I knew that was coming. Anyway, so I'm looking around and uh, I noticed something, you know. Well, the robins are coming. We saw our first robin, and uh, the, the geese are flying around in back in from the from the south and i noticed that uh that that means that of course as soon as you see your robins and the geese that means that the uh, spring is coming so it looks like it's going to be early this year i love it anyway i noticed something very strange yesterday and today now normally we keep our pond see our pond right here normally we keep the pond uh separate right so we have a net like a, a gate and we don't let the fish into the shallower end. So I'm just going to switch over and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. The fish are in the shallow end. Well, usually we keep a gate here and we stop the fish from going in the shallow end. Now they're getting nervous because I'm here, but you see they're underneath the ice. They prefer to be under the ice rather than the open area here, which Inside there has all kinds of cover, all right? They can hide and there's lots of places to hide in there so they don't get eaten. But I keep a bubbler there all winter long. It keeps the ice open and it keeps the uh, water oxygenated. But I have a video on that so you can watch that. But anyway, um, some of the fish don't make it. You can see this one here. And we've had a few already. And that's, that's normal. Some of the fish don't make it. Some of them get really stupid, and as the ice is forming, they actually touch the ice and, and stick to it or something. And we've seen them caught between the layers of the ice. But anyway, back to this ice and the fish. Now you can see the fish are all underneath the ice. And why I'm thinking to myself, why would the fish prefer to be under the ice on a nice sunny day like this? Are they smart enough to know that... Uh, you know, if there was a bird that came around trying to eat them, or an animal, that they can't get through the ice? Well, I don't think so. I think what's happening is that the sun is making the ice act like a greenhouse. So the sunlight's going in through the ice, and it's bouncing around in there, and it's making the water warmer. I don't know if that sounds crazy. But the fish know something that we don't know. They're getting really nervous. See, they're leaving. Okay, and you know, fish are like any other animal and humans. They kind of like if one starts moving, another starts moving, they all start following each other. You know, safety in numbers kind of deal. Anyway, so when they spawn too, like they really start to do a lot of this. But that's for another video. So there they go. I made them nervous. They're leaving the cover of the ice. I'm just thinking, you know, if you guys have any comments, I'd like to hear it. Why the fish would prefer to go under the ice. And this, this is all year round. That's why we have to put these gates up and protect them. Because the side that they were on under the ice is, is much more shallow than the deep side here. That's about four and a half feet. And over here um, where the falls is, uh, it's about uh, maybe uh, two feet, maybe. And it gets frozen pretty much right down to the bottom, so we seal that off. And this little side here, it's about a foot and a half deep, and it totally solidifies. So anything in there is going to die. But sure would like to hear your comments on this. Why the f Here they come, they're coming back. They think I'm gone, see? So I'd like to know why the fish would like to be under the ice on a nice sunny day like today. And not out there sunning themselves like they usually do on a hot sunny day they like to sun themselves very close to the top of the water and uh, if they, they're like anybody else they want to stay warm right so if they get the chance so uh, that's my theory I think that even though there's ice here I think they're getting you know like a greenhouse effect keeping uh, keeping them much warmer let me know what you think bye for now